Hey everybody, welcome to Tooth Vito. I pray that you are staying warm. It's cold here in Oklahoma. I pray that God's favor is upon you. I pray that you are covered from the top of your head to the bottom of your soles today. I pray that your awareness of God will change your the direction of your life. You know, I, I like to always say that, you know, some, a lot of us text and drive. I have a, I have really, you can ask my family, I have a really, really big pet peeve about that because I know the source behind that. You know, there's so many people that have died uh, and that have gone into accidents because they take their eyes off the road and they, and they don't understand and they don't, they think that they can do it. And I've had some family members actually get mad at me when I call their attention to it. But I know the source behind the devil's just trying to distract you so that he can kill you, you know. That's the bottom line, and we keep giving him opportunities. So I pray today that if, if you get anything from this message, don't text and drive, man. It's so important. It can all wait. There was a time, some of you were my age or, you know, around my age, you know, we didn't have cell phones, and we made it. So just put your phone down, man. The phone is stealing your life. This technology is stealing our life. I mean, you know. But anyway, so let's get to the message. I love you guys, so don't text and drive, okay? So listen, God has divine interruptions in our lives, right? So uh, the dynamic in our relationships are always going to change. People are going to fade away and go away. And many people and others will enter, right? We must rise up and walk in the divine flow of God's spirit. Otherwise, you will try to fill that void created by those changes apart from his will. Galatians 5.16 says, Walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. See, the problem that we have right there is that we want what we want right uh and we have to we have to like he said rise up and allow god's divine flow to guide us right because even though we may not like what's happening in our life we have to trust that god knows what's best he is on the throne of my life i have placed god on the throne in his proper place in my life and therefore i have order in my life it may not be what i want sometimes what i even think that it should be but it doesn't matter at the end of the day it doesn't matter what i think or what i want what matters to me is what god wants for my life because i know that he knows what's best for me so I pray today that you remove yourself. Yes, but I'm talking to you. You remove yourself from the throne of your life and you place Jesus because he earned that spot, honey. He deserves that spot. He belongs there. And until you do, honey, your life ain't going, I'm going to do like the color purple. Until you do right. <laughs> until you do right. You, ain't nothing gonna, until you put Jesus on the throne of your life, ain't nothing going to work out in your life. I'm telling you, man, I'm not hoping this for you. I'm just telling you a fact, okay? When we're not connected to the vine, honey, we wither and die. So I pray you get connected today and put Jesus on the throne of your life and don't text and drive also, okay? So this is a multifaceted message today. I love you guys. Stay warm. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus because I am on mm, Blessed Boulevard and... Redemption Road. Where are you at? Holla.